Now let me show you the execution of this binary search program. So this is simply declaration of array and different variables. Uh, A is our array, LFT is for leftmost subscript, RT is for rightmost subscript, MD as you know is for finding the middle subscript by lieu of writing LFT plus RT divided by 2 and so on. So uh, this is a reading of the array elements which should be in ascending order and after that uh, we will be asking from the user enter the value to search and this is the logic that I have explained to you while LFT is less than or equal to RT if LFT becomes greater than RT that means we were unable to find the value so if val is greater than A M D, same check in that case the chances of finding it will lie only on the right side so we will be changing the value of LFT that will become MD plus 1 else if val is less than A M D, that is middle element in that case, uh, we will be looking only on the left side and RT is equal to MD minus 1. We are going to change the value of RT that is for rightmost subscript. Else means the value has been found and the message will be given. Either if the value has not been found as yet, either the value of LFT or RT will be changed. So naturally in that case, the value of uh, MD would have to be updated. So we would be writing MD is equal to LFT plus RT divided by 2. And during this loop, if this loop exhausts itself and at no point of time the value is found, that means uh, uh, val is not equal to A M D. In that case, ultimately what will happen is the value of LFT will exceed the value of RT. So in that case, the loop will break because condition has become false. It will come to this place if LFT is greater than RT and no such element exists in the array, this error message will be printed. So press F11, let's execute the program, give any values, 12, 30, any values, but they should be in ascending order because we have written this program for ascending order array. You can write it for descending or, uh, order array also. Okay, so suppose I want to find 100. So found allocation number 9 because 100 is at 9. So uh, like... Uh, uh, let me again execute the program and this time deliberately I will be giving a value which is not present in the array. Okay, so I have given these values. Suppose I give a value 5 which does not happen to be present in the array. No such element exists in the array. 